So I'm really sorry that this video took me so long to get to you guys. Um, I am currently seven months in to an eight month trip living out of a backpack. Um, kind of all over the world a little bit, but uh, mainly a US based trip. And uh, it's been very interesting. I've learned a lot and I will share that with you in the next series. But let's focus on this series. In this series, we have a small backpack. We have a lot of countries. We kind of did it quick and dirty. Um, we were on a budget of not just money, but time. We, we just we just wanted to see as much as possible and absorb as much as possible and sometimes you have to do that. It's not always the way to travel but sometimes it is. Um, the trip was in Asia so uh, there was lots of research about Asian countries and visas and diseases and all that stuff that you need to do based on your trip. Um, also where were we going to stay? Are we staying in a tent? Are we staying in a campground? Are we staying in a car? We're staying in a hotel, a hostel, a bed and breakfast. All these things have to be taken into consideration when you're packing your pack. Uh, this trip that we did uh, was a, ho a hotel trip. Um, it, it's very important because hotels offer soap, shampoo, conditioner, towels, sheets, things that other places don't necessarily offer. We also did our own laundry. Every night we washed laundry in the sink. Very simple, very easy. Um, sometimes it was really hard because you're so tired after walking around, but we did it and it worked out awesome and I wouldn't have changed a thing. This trip turned out amazing. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the review. Please comment if you have any questions. I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible and still cover everything that needs to be covered. The following video will be my bag, um, so stay tuned for the release of that. I'm sure it'll take forever, but my apologies. Uh, life should get back on track in a few months. So, enjoy. Okay, so this pen carried it. Awesome. Still carry it. We'll always carry it. My husband actually never goes anywhere without his pen. He uses it for everything. It's his multi-tool. Uh, first of all, it's allowed on planes. So you can take it on the plane with you. And yet you have a metal pen to use as a pry bar to use as a he opens bottles of beer with it he had re-threaded my bathing suit in Halong Bay um, he does all kinds of things with this pen and it's nice because it's fully metal what really makes the pen special is that it's a space pen so its ink is pressurized so it can write in pretty much any circumstance so along with being metal and a multi-tool of sorts, it also is an amazing pen in and of itself. So generally we're Nalgene people. Uh, we like their durability. We like that they are, are a harder plastic. I also love that lid you see in that picture. It is a, uh, a large lid with a tiny lid on top, so you don't need a splash guard. And I feel like that saves us um, some issues that splash cards can cause, like when you're refilling and stuff. So I um, love the Nalgene, but if you uh, put things in your water, like tablets or um, drops to flavor your water, your Nalgene will always taste like that. It also is a very heavy item, and um, a Powerade bottle works just as well. Uh, the thing about the Nalgene on this trip was that we never actually used it except once because we always bought bottled water due to the water quality in Asia. Um, we did bring it uh, along with a water filter in case we needed uh, to make our own water because uh, we'd read that sometimes they re-bottle the tap water into the bottles of water and so that goes along with learning about the place that you're going to be and being prepared for it. So it was a success, which is why it's green, but we never actually used it because there was bottled water everywhere, even in the mountain village we stayed in. So, you know, sometimes you carry things you don't need, but you're glad you had them. So, and that's the Nalgene. This Espiner, um, 
any beaner would have worked. Uh, this S beaner just happens to be a bottle opener, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, I don't like how heavy it is, but it's not it's not an overly heavy thing. It's not a bad thing. I just think it's a little heavy. When I don't have my Nalgene clip to it, or when my husband doesn't have his Nalgene clip to it in this case, um, usually we use it for um, clipping our hats to the outside. So we have an unlocked iPhone. Uh, that's a waterproof case it's in, because you'll see as we go on that I'm obsessed with waterproofing. Um, it has a SIM card from whatever country we're in. Generally, um, America is really the hardest place to do the SIM card swap. Every other country I've been to, they sell SIM cards in the airport or like everywhere else. Like it's very easy and they're cheap. Um, once you pop that SIM card in, you have a local number and you have Google Maps. And when you're traveling quick and dirty, like we were in this situation, it's really nice. hand sanitizer. I always try to get little to no smell because sometimes you're washing your hands and silverware before you eat and you really don't want to flavor your food with um, flowers or whatever smell they've decided to add. You need to have a skull cap. You need to find one that fits you, that makes you look pretty and happy and warm and then carry it everywhere you go. Uh, the second set of clothing was super important. Um, as I said, we only had that one pair that we wore uh, as we left, and then we purchased this set along the way, which was the plan because we wanted to um, buy something fun and local and, you know, goofy and covered in elephants. Uh, it would dried super fast, which was the only requirement. So along with your second set of clothing, uh, you want to have your thermal bottoms and tops. Uh, these are Under Armour. Uh, they're $25 to $35. You can buy them pretty much anywhere. I definitely wouldn't go cheap on your thermals. Um, you don't have to replace them very often, so it's nice to just have a good set of them, maybe two sets. And they also, in a pinch, can double as clothing if you uh, get something nice enough. Uh, which is very nice in case, you know, you spill food on you and your other set is wet. So it's always nice to have. I always get tapered arms and tapered legs and a uh, turtleneck on the top. Uh, you never know when you're going to find yourself at the top of a mountain. Citronella bug spray is where it's at for me and my husband. Uh, we both hate getting bit by mosquitoes. It can, like, ruin a trip for us. We generally carry DEET with us at all times, and we did on this trip. Uh, but when we got into Thailand, we saw this and we tried it, and it was amazing. Uh, we actually never opened our DEET, and according to the CDC, citronella has to be applied every 20 minutes, and DEET has to be applied every 40 minutes, but they are both good at repelling mosquitoes. And you don't need to worry about poisoning yourself with the citronella, whether it gets on your skin or in your eyes or in your mouth. And it doesn't taste nearly as bad as DEET. So when you're traveling light, you have to leave some stuff at home. So we ended up leaving um, his razor and buying one along the way because we changed our mind. And we also left foot cream. Uh, and we needed it, so we ended up purchasing it along the way, a little tube, it wasn't expensive, and we didn't know we were going to have an outbreak of athlete's foot until it happened, and it was really no big deal, so you just budget this into your plan. An EpiPen or Benadryl, I always carry a Benadryl. Um, I rarely carry an EpiPen, uh, but in this case we were going into um, a place, uh, Asia's known for their use of shellfish, and my husband has a shellfish allergy. And so we went ahead and just prepared. And I'm really glad we did. We didn't end up needing it, but it was nice to have. And here is our friend, the DEET. Uh, I always keep this, I always buy the special top that is hard to push down. I always keep it in its own container, and I put it in its own Ziploc bag. It is poison, and it will ruin your day if you uh, are sensitive to it. 
Um, it's also poison, so you don't really want to get it on yourself even if you don't have a bad reaction to it. We always carry it. Um, I don't want anything to ruin my vacation after I've saved the money and we've, you know, taken off work and we've done all this stuff. Nothing should ruin your vacation, so always be prepared. Now these are in red because they are cotton running socks and they took forever to dry. Uh, we had a lot of problem with socks drying. This pair especially took forever to dry. So on our bags there are two mesh pockets. The day we would leave our hotel to go to another country, I would take the socks that had been drying and I would shove them in the mesh pockets to continue drying while we traveled. This was the only way I could cope with the fact that they weren't drying in a timely fashion. Also, we did wear damp socks on occasion. So cotton socks were a big fail. Um, I, in my bag, you will see socks that I actually recommend. Um, now, it was a fail, but we wouldn't necessarily change it. Uh, they still worked. They still dried on our feet, and they still worked great. So we ended up not going with cotton underwear, and I'm super happy that I went ahead and spent the money on these jockey underwear. They're quick dry and they're lightweight, and they were amazing. They dried every night without fail, and having soggy feet is one thing, but having a soggy butt is completely different. So a big win for those. SteriPen water purifier. Like I said earlier, you know, we weren't sure about the water quality and we, uh, we were a little nervous about it. So we brought the SteriPen to be used with our Nalgene and we never actually used it, which was amazing because there was amazing um, bottled water everywhere that was obviously sealed. So I would still bring it with me because I would never want to be on a vacation without water, just like I'd never want to be swarmed by mosquitoes. Um, those are the batteries that I bought to go with it. This is a Right in the Rain pocket notebook. Uh, it was, it's four bucks. It's waterproof paper, and it goes really well with that pen. And you can write notes, you can keep a journal, you can do anything you want, and you gotta have paper and pen with you. They sell different size notebooks. This is like a middle of the middle of the range, you know, like there's one that's smaller and there's a few that are a bit larger. So depending on how much writing you want to do, we actually didn't even get close to filling this one up. We could have brought the smaller one and been fine. Uh, but I was really happy to have it and I, you know, would hate for to write a note and it to get lost by water or ruined. So that's a, the note book we carry. So tissues. I always carry tissues. These tissues that I'm holding actually we purchased along the way to replace the ones that we brought with us that uh, you know I just picked them up at Walmart no big deal. Uh, a lot of places in Europe or not in Europe in Asia you're gonna find that they don't allow you to flush toilet paper so you don't have to worry about the Kleenex clogging the toilet because they're gonna have a little waste basket um, and if they don't, or you're not going to that kind of country, you can always pack it out in a Ziploc baggie, which is what you do when you go camping. So, this is one of those SIM cards I told you about. We got off the plane in, uh, Cambodia, and we went to leave the airport, and there was this little kiosk, and we purchased, it was like 15 bucks for four days, I want to say. I'm, you know, guessing here, not exact. And they popped a SIM card in, and we had a, uh, a phone the whole time we were there. It was absolutely wonderful. The rest of the world really knows how to do cell phones and uh, data. So that's the SIM card that we had and you should research the good ones for each country you're going to. Like the good cell phone companies I guess is what I'm saying. These are our cheat cards. So I went online and I googled uh, all the different languages that we were going to be coming in contact with, how to say yes, no, beer, thank you, and no shellfish. And I put them on these cards and then I laminated them. We never actually used these cards, but I wish we had. Uh, they really would have been awesome, but in, in so many of these places, pointing and grunting and you just, you just communicate because we're all people and it's it's not that hard. 
But if I needed them, I did have them. <laughs> so, uh, and I had it written in their language, written in their dialect. Uh, so I could have just pointed to it instead of having to try and pronounce it, which you can get yourself into some trouble. So those are my cheat cards. This is an electric converter. Uh, once again, I never go anywhere without this thing. Uh, it came in handy one time, and it uh, I like it better than the one you buy that has all the pieces because I'm always stressed out about losing the pieces. You never know which one you're going to need, and so it's easier just to take them all with you. But when you have all the different pieces, you're always just like, which one? Whereas this is a little box, and they come sliding out of the box. So it's far superior. Uh, lithium battery for iPhone charges. So you can't take this on all planes anymore, um, but in Asia you still could at the time. And you plug it in, you charge it, and then you can charge your phone four times. This is really important when you're using Google Maps because Google Maps drains, especially iPhone batteries, insanely fast. And if you are using it to get around because you're traveling super quick and you just want to see everything you possibly can and you're just trying to get from point A to point B, this is an amazing thing to have so that you don't um, run out of charge. So my secret is out. I'm a little bit of a Ziploc baggie freak. Always carry extra Ziploc, small and large. Uh, we were in the airport leaving to go somewhere and my husband had his hand sanitizer in his pocket. We tried to get on we tried to get on the plane to go through security and they said they wouldn't let us through. So I pulled out a big Ziploc baggie and they said that that would, would not work, that it had to be a small Ziploc bag. Fortunately, someone in line behind us was smart enough to have an extra Ziploc baggie and she was able to get us through security without losing, you know, the uh, ever important hand sanitizer. So traveling with extra Ziploc bags is important for many reasons. Uh, they get holes in them. You need to replace them. So I always bring like one or two of each size that I'm carrying at the time. Um, I'll even carry an extra garbage bag just, just in case. So here's your important papers. There goes the Ziploc baggie, I hope you caught that. It has to be waterproof because this is your passport that has your visas inside of it. Also, extra passport photos. That's actually what I'm holding up right there. Your boarding passes, make sure you pre-print them from home because you never know how easy it's going to be to find a printer. Your hotel confirmations, you can either print the email or just have the confirmation number. And don't forget cash in the proper currency for each country uh, that you'll need for entry. Uh, each country has its own rules, you gotta look it up before you take off. So this is the 16 liter backpack that my husband carried. Uh, it was a super win. I love that it had a chest strap and a waist strap and it had the mesh pockets for drying the socks. As you can see those dark areas um, on the back of it and it really it did everything we wanted it also made everyone jealous that we ran into that that was all we had with us um, and yet we still had all the comforts that we needed to have an amazing trip so everything here is what we carried on the right hand side is what was in my husband's bag including his bag uh, I didn't cover things like his bathing suit or those sandals because they're not important um, you need them. They were in the first video, but they're not important. That big, that hat on top, that is an important feature, and it will have its own video. So, coming soon. I love a wide brim hat, and Tilly just happens to be one of my favorites, and it's where I'm willing to spend money. An emergency blanket pretty much goes everywhere with me, so I'll be reviewing all the different ones I've tried. This pack really went above and beyond. Uh, it just, everything about it just seemed like it fit us and our travel so well. Uh, I'll also be reviewing my 20 liter that I carried from REI along with this pack. We also have to, you know, love on the pants we, that we wore. The Columbias, they deserve their own video. Thank you for joining me. I hope you learned. I hope you travel. I hope you love life. And I hope you come back for my other videos that I didn't have time to go over. I won't be going over things like bathing suits because I'm pretty sure you already know what kind of bathing suit you like. 
Uh, I will be going over things like hats and pants and things that I have a lot more opinions on that needed their own video. So come back, join me, and um, please ask questions. I have uh, tons of opinions on everything I talked about in this video and everything that I didn't actually get to. Subscribe and get notified when new videos are released. And don't forget, come do life with me again.